Hello everybody, in this video I want to introduce you to Fotor. Fotor is a versatile photo editing software that was launched in 2009 and has evolved over the years introducing various advancements such as AI driven editing tools, a vast collection of templates and powerful graphic design capabilities. In this video I'm going to do a deep dive on the AI features that I use myself for my own work. To get started, go to this website called Fotar.com and click sign up on the right. I personally use my Google account to sign up. You can also use your email or Apple or Facebook account. After you log in, you're going to be greeted with this screen. If you look on the left, you're going to see a menu of all the categories of tools that Fotar has to offer, such as generative AI, photo and video editing, effects and beauty, quick design, and simple collage. I'm going to go over to this section called AI tools and go over some of the main tools that I personally use. The first one is of course text to image. Now here, if you look on the left, Fotor actually uses its own models. We have Fotor M1 and the new Fotor M2. So these are not using any other models from any other companies. I'm going to select my style as photo. Then I'm going to choose the number of generations I want. Each of them cost one credit. I'm going to keep it at two images. I'm also going to make this cinematic and click generate. All right, I have a generation, but I'm going to change the aspect ratio to nine by 16 and generate two more. All right, I now have more full length generations. I like this one, so I'm going to click download right there. The next tool I want to show you is called AI Background Remover. Here we can upload any image and remove the background and extract the main object of the image. To show how this works, I'm going to use this image that I found on pexels.com. I'm going to click upload image and select that picture. It's analyzing that image to see what the main object and the background is. All right, as you saw, it has detected and removed the background. Now here you can change the background to something else if you choose to. Now you can put this person on a comic magazine or place her in this city. I'm going to save two copies, the first one without any background. Click download right there. I also like this one with the city in the background, so I'm going to download that as well. All right, the next tool I want to show you is called AI Expand. Now the goal of this tool is to provide an image and extend the background of the image using AI. To demonstrate that, I'm going to use one of the images that I just generated. And as you see here, it provides the option to zoom out. I can select a zoom out of up to 2x where it generates a lot of the background or I can select a lesser amount where it generates just a little bit. Let me go all the way to 2x and click generate. Wow, that came out really cool. As you see, it completed the rest of her outfit. It also filled in the left and the right parts of the city, which did not exist in this original picture right here. Now, if you look on the left, it actually provided two different options of the extension. This one actually has her wearing a different outfit and the city also looks slightly different. But I like this one better, so I'm going to click download on that right here. The next tool I want to show you is called AI Replace. And now here, what you can do is to select specific parts of your image and replace it with something else using AI. For this, I'm going to use one of the images that I just generated. And here you have the option to select parts of that image with a brush. I'm going to select this door, which doesn't look quite as nice. So I'm going to go and brush on it so it's properly covered. And I'm going to say an elegant door and click generate. All right, it looks something like a revolving door. Let me look at my other option. All right, that looks much nicer. So I'm going to keep it at that and click apply. All right, the last tool I want to show you is called One Tap Enhance. Now this allows you to optimize the quality of your images with one tap, as it says. I'm going to use the image that I originally started with, which is this one. 
And as you see, it got slightly enhanced with some color correction. All right, that's all I have for you today. You can easily access all these tools and more in this AI tools section in the Fotar photo editor. I would like to thank Fotar for sponsoring this video. I hope you got some value from it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.